The Adatel 680 series digital pressure gauges each have an optional feature which includes wireless communication and onboard data logging. The model ADT680W includes these optional features. The ADT680W wireless communication underlies Zigbee at 2.4 GHz. Each wireless gauge can transmit up to 20 meters and there are 15 selectable channels in which each gauge can be programmed to transmit on. The ADT680W comes with a wireless receiver and works with Adatel LAND wireless software which reads up to 20 gauges at once. The ADT680W also has onboard data logging storage capacity of 140,000 readings. Each reading includes pressure, date, time, and ambient temperature. In order to navigate the ADT680W menus, it is helpful to understand the secondary functions for each key. When in the menu, the power key cancels and escapes to the previous menu. The units key will move the cursor forward or to the right. The backlight key will move the cursor backward when in the menu, and number increment when editing a numeric field. The zero key is used to make a selection and confirm the entry. To enable the wireless on the ADT680W, press and hold the units key to access the main menu. Press the units key again to navigate to the right until you see the wireless icon. Press zero to enter the wireless menu. You will now see off if the wireless is disabled. To enable the wireless, press zero and you'll see the menu indicate on and the wireless icon will flash at the top left of the display. The second menu is a channel setting. 15 channels are available. The third menu allows for the device address to be set. The last menu sets the wireless default setting. Zero disables a wireless on power up, whereas one enables it on power up. I will leave the factory default settings as they are and press the power key to escape back to the main display. You'll notice the wireless icon blinking, which indicates it is searching for a wireless receiver. Once the gauge has found the master wireless receiver, the wireless icon will stop blinking, indicating wireless communication is established. From the main screen, press and hold the units key to access the main menu. Press the units key again to navigate to the right till you see log and press zero to enter into the log menu. CAP stands for a capacity, which shows the percentage of the total memory used. Press the Units key to advance to the second menu, Send, which is intended to upload data manually. The third menu allows for the deletion of all log data. This menu is password protected. The fourth menu, Gap, sets the data logging interval in seconds. The fifth menu is the data logging default setting for PowerUp. And the last menu is the enabling or disabling of the log function by pressing zero, the log status will change from off to on, and the logging icon in the top corner of the display will appear. Press the power key to return to the main display. Notice the data logging icon in the top left of the display. When logging is activated, the keypad is automatically locked, which is indicated by the lock icon. To unlock the keypad, press and hold the zero key. Adatel LAND Wireless is a utility software used to download log data from the ADT680W and set some basic functions of the gauge. Adatel LAND Wireless can communicate with up to 20 gauges at one time. Adatel LAND Wireless is available at www.adatel.com. This software is a free download on the Adatel website. First ensure the ADT680W has the wireless activated and the wireless master receiver should be plugged into a USB port on the computer. Open the software application. Click the play icon at the bottom right of the screen. Select the correct channel and wait for the wireless communication to be established. You will notice this by a computer and a gauge appearing on the screen 
and the wireless icon on the gauge will cease blinking. Basic gauge information displays on the screen. The pressure and the temperature measurements are live measurements. By pressing Setup, you have the option to change the data logging settings and start or stop a logging session. You can also export data, set up a custom pressure unit, change the wireless search interval, and sync the gauge's clock with the computer's clock. In this exercise, we'll want to export data. The data will load and can be previewed in the box to the right. By clicking Chart, you are able to graphically see what the data looks like. Various log sessions can be selected with the drop-down. To export data, click Export or Export All in the Chart Preview, or click Export in the Data Preview. Data can be exported as an Excel file or CSV file. The Excel file includes a capture of the graph. Each log session is represented by a tab in the file. Adatel Log2 Wireless is an optional software package that gives you the capability to run a real-time log session with the ADT680W. Ensure the wireless function is activated on the ADT680W and the wireless master receiver is plugged into a USB port on the computer. Open the application and wait for the wireless connection to be established. You'll know the connection is established when the wireless icon in the gauge stops blinking and the logging graph appears. We are currently in the preview mode and real-time logging has not started. To start a log session, either click on the Start icon or select Log from the toolbar and select Start All. The graph will reset and measurements are currently being logged. To export, stop the logging session and press Export. You can select logging sessions to be exported based on the date range. Files can be exported as an Excel or XML or CSV file. When exported as an Excel file, a report with a graph is on the first tab and raw data populates the other tabs. We hope that you found this application video instructional and useful. For more information, please visit us at www.adatel.com.